welcome back to my channel today i will be doing a what is on my android phone and originally this video was going to be a what is on my phone and a how to customize or personalize your phone but when i was editing the video it was it turned out to be really long just talking about what's on my phone so i will have a part two of how to personalize your phone using the apps that i use and i just have a samsung note 3 and i've had it for about a year and it still works fine because i have a really sturdy case on it and i've dropped it like a thousand times and it hasn't like broken on me or anything i know my phone's like really big <laughs> it's as big as my face so again this video is just talking about um, what is on my phone like the kind of apps that I have and apps that I use and um, I know in the video I will be saying that oh yeah I'll talk about how to do this how to do that but again I will have that in part two so this is what my phone looks like um, as you can see it's really different from the average Samsung because um, I did use a lot of apps to kind of personalize it to how I want it and I'll just give you guys a quick overview here so if you guys want to learn how to make it really cute and change the icons and get this live background and um, some other features, then make sure to check out part two of this video that I will be uh, linking down below. So if you guys want to see what's on my phone, then just keep watching. So this is what my phone looks like. Um, it's just the Note 3. I'll try to find the link to this case um, and then I'll post it down below, but it's just a regular durable case. And so let's get right into um, what I have on my phone. Alright, so as you can see here, my background, it moves, so it's a live wallpaper. They are just these bulky lights that kind of float around, and I think it's really elegant, and it just looks really cute. And a cool feature of this app is that when you kind of touch your screen, the bulky, they kind of like run away, so I think that's really cute. One thing to remember is if you do have live wallpaper, it does drain your battery a little bit more, so when I'm trying to preserve battery, I go and turn it off so that's um, just what it looks so like. So how I got this um, bulky wallpaper is from the app called Bulky and then for my wallpaper this gradient pink kind of yellowish and minty green I got that wallpaper from um, Coco Pa which again I will go through later and I will also mention again and then I just want to talk about my um, time here and the weather little area here um, it's a lot more different from the regular Samsung ones that they have. I did find this app called um, HD Widgets and then you have to download the HD Widgets and another app um, called Cairo I think it's called. Um, so there's a lot of options and then as you can see all my um, icons are like really cute really different from the typical Samsung icons and I got these icons again from Coco Pop which the page on my on my right uh, looks like this all right so up close this is what it looks like they are just these like little memo cards and with like little fake washi tape up here it's so cute and you can put the title up here and then like just list stuff that you need these are from the app memo widget girls and it's actually not free it's a dollar 24 which I think is really inexpensive so I did pay for it and I love how it when looks. I go to the next page I just have this calendar and um, I had the regular Samsung calendar for a long time but I just really wanted something cuter so I did find this app this app is called um, I think it's called Jorte I'm not sure how to pronounce it but uh, this is the best app ever if you want to stay organized they have so many options you can have like a calendar you can have um, like a task list showing uh, an agenda and uh, different options like showing weekly um, and then just a bunch of different options so next is all my apps um, I have some folders and these are just regular so this first app is called we heart it it's kind of like Pinterest um, just has really cute like inspirational um, pictures that you can kind of look up and just kind of like if you like it so um, ooh, that looks really good just double tap it and then you heart it and then yeah and then Hulu of course uh, just watch like TV uh, shows and stuff like that and then this one is called cam scanner it is um, kind of like a scanner it's really useful if you don't have a scanner which I don't think a lot of people do anymore so you just like go ahead and take picture of your um, 
picture and then it kind of looks like you scanned it so it's really helpful if you need to like do some business stuff where you need to send um, files and then this one here is called secure gallery it's just a gallery that you can put a password to so that people can't go into look your pictures I don't have like any like uh, nude photos or anything I just have like my progress pictures that I take um, in my like workout clothes that you know I don't really want people to look through but you know that's all I have and then this one is called square droid and it's really cool it's like you can make your pictures into a square so you can post it onto Instagram for instance if I really like this um, flower picture and I want to post it but I don't want to like just make it into a square I can upload it and then just you can crop it if you want to but I'm just gonna keep the whole thing and then I'm just gonna crop it and then it makes it to a square you can change the background color which I just do white and then press OK and then you have this square that you can just go ahead and save. Next is this um, app called Remember Passwords and I'm just really bad with remembering my passwords because I have like a different password for everything so um, you can just kind of, it does have a password to get in there so all your passwords are safe. And then this one is just my contacts. And then this folder is all the apps where I talked about where I personalized my wallpaper, but I will talk about that last because it's going to be a little bit longer. So let's just move right into these other ones. This one is, I just named it Stores because I have uh, TJF in there, or Fridays, it's a restaurant. And this one is called Earn. It's like where apps where you can earn points or earn money and stuff. So this first one is called Poshmark, and it's really cool. It's like a online closet where you can sell your clothes, your makeup, and other stuff like that. Um, you just make an account, and then you post whatever you want to post. And they do take, um, I think, 20% of whatever that you sell. So there's just something to keep in mind. And then the next one is called Wrap. It's just a really cool um, app where you can send, like, um, this, like not kind of like gift cards, but just like, yeah, it's kind of like gift cards. Sometimes they have like H&M, like $6 gift cards you can send to people, and then they send it to you as well. And then this next one is just games. I, I used to play a lot of games, but I don't anymore. I just have Quiz Up, which is really cool. It just like quizzes you on like certain um, agendas, like subjects or TV shows or music and stuff like that. It's really fun. Uh, we, I played it with my best friend and my boyfriend and my, my best friend's husband, and we we're really competitive so we try to see who knows best about like friends, um, family guy and stuff like that. Um, my internet really sucks right now so I can't really show you guys. Um, and then I just have Uno which I love playing Uno. And then this folder is just finances. Um, these apps just kind of help keep track of your budget and how much you're spending, how much money you have left. So um, Mint and Check are really good. And then good. next I have here Tools. Um, just kind of like um, random tools that I use. The first one is just Google. This one is S Voice, which just comes with Samsung's. Uh, this is Audible. It's just like um, an app where they read books out loud to you, which is really cool as well. And then this one is a Hmong translator. Um, I speak Hmong, but I'm not like as good as I want to be. So um, if you do want to learn Hmong or you need to talk to a Hmong person, this you is really can just cool. talk into it in English and then. Um, they kind of translate into Hmong, so I'll just uh, try to say something. Um, let's see. I am hungry. Let me try to turn up so you guys can hear. And then uh, this is, the, of course, the English part and then the Hmong part. To hear, you just kind of tap on it. So, uh, I'm hungry is gu chai bla, which is I'm hungry. So, I think that's really cool just in case, you know, you need to touch up on your mong at all. Next here is P90X and it's just a really cool app where it tracks your P90X workouts. I used to do P90X but I don't anymore and this app was like a dollar or something. But it was really helpful so I didn't want to delete it since I did pay for it. This one is just a voice recorder, just records sounds and stuff. And then this is a munchkin counters. Uh, munchkin is a... Uh, board game which is so awesome everyone needs to try it. if you play the game you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about and then this last one is really so really it tracks cool. your sleep um, like your movements and you can do like sound and it has like a smart alarm where um, if you set your alarm to like 9 30 it'll kind of track your sleep and let you know when it's best for you to wake up so you have an energized uh, morning I usually like to use it for uh, tracking my motion and my sound so when you go to sleep you just click going to sleep and then I'll track um, throughout the night and it's tracking my sound right now since I'm talking. And then when you wake up, you just go back to it and click waking up. 
and then just click confirm and then it will show you um, your tracking and then let me try to find one um, alright so as you can see here it tracked my movement and my sounds so as you can see around 2.30 um, I kind of woke up a lot and then around 3.30 to 4 4.49 I moved around a lot too and then um, it was kind of on and off throughout until I woke up around 9.30 for class and then these are just the sound movements because I do move a lot when I sleep because my bed's not that comfortable so I think that's really the cool. The next here is um, entertainment. This you know it's just basically entertainment. I have Groupon which is really cool. They just have a lot of coupons and deals for areas around you and then this is Trulia. It's just like a um, house hunting app. I just like looking at houses for fun. Just kind of motivates me to you know finish college and find a good house so I just kind of like looking at houses. And then next here I just have my music. I have uh, this app called Ringtone Maker. You can upload any song you want and then you can kind of crop which part you want and then you can make that part into a ringtone so that's really cool. And then here is Zedge. It's just um an app that has like a bunch of different ringtones and a bunch of like um, message uh, tones and like wallpaper and stuff like Let's that. Let's see. Minion ring ring. Ring 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 a ling. Ring 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 yeah. ring. So if you like the minions or these really funny ones. Um, it's your mother. Pick it up. It's mommy on the phone. <laughs> Pick it up. Oh my god, you guys love this one. Snowman Frozen, of course. Do you want to build a snowman? Come on. So, I know that's really popular. Mom! Mommy! 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 Mama! Mama! Let's move on to uh, this one is security. It just kind of has like my apps were just kind of um, cleans my phone. So, Clean Master, it kind of cleans out your phone. And then, Lookout, it just, um, when you go on like, uh, sites or you trying to download like apps um, this app kind of looks out for you know if there's any viruses it warns you that oh be careful so that's uh, helpful as well so moving on to the next page this one is just like really optional for me but I really liked it I just wanted to have like an inspirational quote and then some pictures um, this quote is from for Winfrey and then I just have like pictures from we heart it and then just pictures of me and my boyfriend the app to make this little quote portion is called simple text widget which I will talk about in a little bit and then the um, app to make these pictures is called um, sorry is called nice simple photo widget and I use Instagram to filter these pictures and then I also used an app called rounded corners to give these picture a rounded corner and to make them square because um, when you post the pictures they can kind of come out like rectangular which I didn't really Moving want on. Um, I have just more apps here. Here I just have my weather thing which I showed you guys is from the um, apps HD Widgets and Cairo. And then here, I just have Wolves Fargo which is my bank, Snapchat, you guys all know what Snapchat is, S Note which is just comes with a phone, it's really cool, it has like notebooks and you can draw and stuff like that. And then I just have Flashlight, Pinterest of course, we all know what Pinterest is, um, the Samsung calendar, and then I have Pandora which is really cool and you can, uh, it finds music that are similar to what you like. And then here I just have Clock which I set my alarm on. And then music, Evernote, which is a really cool app or also an application you can get on MacBook and stuff to take notes. And that's why I use to take notes in class. And then Netflix, of course, and then my fitness pal, which is a really, really helpful um, app if you're like trying to keep track of your fitness and stuff like that. So this is an example from October 15th. Um, I haven't used it in a while. So um, this shows how much you eat and how much of the daily uh, nutrition that you you need yeah it's just a really good app to track um what you're eating and then you can also add like your workout so yeah that's pretty much it for um what's on my phone if you guys have any questions just let me know down below i know i went through it kind of quick but um if you guys you know have questions just let me know and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time bye mm -hmm.